Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rimotive JT. This is the first real ride in my new 2024 Toyota Tundra. In case you didn't know, maybe you hadn't been on the channel for a while, you're popping back in and you're thinking, what? What happened? Well, I traded off the Jeep Gladiator and bought a 2024 Tundra. I did it because we're gonna be taking a, some long distance trips here in the future and I wanted something bigger and something more comfortable. That's it. Jeep Gladiator is awesome. I love the Jeep Gladiator and really I'm a little bit sad uh, not having it anymore, but nonetheless, gotta move forward, gotta have the right vehicle for your situation, right? So that's why we did it. That's what we're in right now. It is an SR5. It is a 4x2. No need for a 4x4 for my purposes. Plus, I might actually get a little bit better gas mileage, which it's not too bad. It's actually supposed to get better mileage than my Jeep Gladiator did. So I'm going to be very interested to see if I can drive a bigger, heavier truck and get better fuel economy than I did in the Jeep Gladiator. Now, first off, this is, of course, a six-cylinder twin turbo, something that a lot of the uh, folks out there had a problem with when Toyota first announced that the new Tundra was going to have this in it in 2022, I think it was, when it first started. I have to say, I've had three other Tundras. All of them were V8s. Uh, I don't really notice a big difference. You know, a few years ago, I drove this new model when it first came out, the first one in the RGV down here, and I did like it from the beginning. I think after I looked at it a little more, I wasn't real hip with the design and stuff, and I had thought that maybe it, it was a little bit less powerful, but I have to say, having driven it home from the dealership and driving it a little bit this morning, as I'm out shooting this video, uh, I gotta say it is very capable. I don't notice really any difference between it remembering and the V8s that I had in the past. So good setup, I'm digging it, especially the fuel economy if it pans out to be true. We'll see that in the future. Comfort wise, I mean, it's a Tundra, right? It's very comfortable inside these nice big seats, although, and looking at them, they do seem to be a little bit smaller than what I remember in the other seats and not quite as plush. Still very comfortable, very supportive. I do not have the electric seats, the 10-way power adjustables in this version, this trim level. Kind of wish I did, but wasn't willing to go up and spend a ton more money to go up in a trim level to get these seats, or really just to pay for them at all, if I'm being honest. So they're, they're fine, they should be fine, no issues. I've got it where I want it right now, and it feels pretty good. The only little ding I might give is that front kind of center under thigh support. The front could pop up just a little bit, but I don't know if it's enough to put something in like a seat jacker. That might make it too far, and then you would be too far angled up but it's just fine. I do have the smaller radio screen. I go back and forth on that. You know, the bigger screen looks like an iPad stuck in there. It protrudes up above the dash, kind of looks out of place to me, but I, it's been growing on me having the same kind of screen in the Toyota Prius that I recently got. An awesome car, by the way. Seems I'm a, a, a Toyota guy, I guess. I've got the Prius, the Tacoma, and now, of course, the Tundra. Uh, handling in this thing, man, you wouldn't know you were in such a big truck. And this thing is big. I mean, it is a big truck. I put it up against a uh, Ford F-150 that uh, a guy where I'm at parks. And it's as big as that is, that's a big truck. Or maybe even a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. I'll have to look up the dimensions one of these days. Uh, but... Nonetheless, it drives much smaller. And that's something that I've always liked about the Tundras. And I didn't feel that way in the Ram or the F-150 I had 100 years ago. They always felt like big, giant vehicles. 
The Tundra just doesn't. I don't know if it's the angle of the hood. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the way they angle the hood so that it points down more or sooner and it gives you that feeling that you're closer to the front. I don't know. I don't really feel the back at all. This is not an extended bed, so I don't have to deal with that extra length, which is good. I mean, if you need it for work, I can understand that, but otherwise, eh, the extended bed is just too long for my purposes anyway. The composite bed, we have to mention that. It's something that was new on the Tundra. I don't have any issues with it. I've had it in the Tacoma for years and never had any problems, any cracking or breaking or anything like that. Matter of fact, I actually prefer the composite bed because it's more durable, I think. It doesn't scratch, it doesn't chip. You're not gonna have to worry about damaging paint if you put anything in there or slide it around. The one thing that I will say is a must, you've got to have a bed mat in the back. That composite bed is like ice. Things just slide all over. So I will be adding that down the road myself. Uh, ergonomically in here, everything is within arm's reach, except for the glove box, of course. It is a full-size big truck. I do have to kind of lean over everything to get there. But I can reach everything. I can see everything. No issues. Everything in here is pretty darn intuitive. I mean, I know how to work everything, and probably because I have, I've had other Tundras in the past, it's fairly similar. And of course, the Tacoma now, a lot of the features and things operate generally the same way, as do probably most vehicles these days. They set everything up kind of the same, so the learning curve is very short in going to this from, say, a Tacoma or the older, previous version Tundra. Now, the looks of it. Gotta say, this one is black. It's all black. And one of my big gripes, I guess, against this new Tundra was the grill area without it being black. Since it is black, everything kind of meshes together. You know, it all just kind of blends in. That grill doesn't stand out because it is a huge front grill area. And when you have the colors that don't blend in, it just makes it stand out even more and it's not something that I really liked. However, I must say, I do like it in this version, the, the color black. It just ties everything together in the front. Now, there is one thing that I may do. You can get a grill uh, that says Toyota across the front. This one just has the Toyota emblem with the safety sense, the TSS system at the bottom. I probably will eventually put the uh, Toyota grill, I think it's the the higher trim levels like the, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the Pro or maybe some of the TRD versions. I'm not sure what all they're putting that spelled out Toyota name in on this new version. So maybe uh, I'll go to that in the future. Uh, I really do love the looks of that, so that would be pretty cool. Otherwise, gotta say, in my first drive around in this truck, still driving on the dealership's gas, which ultimately I guess I paid for anyway in the form of the new truck, but I love it. You know, you get used to having all this room inside and it's massive in here, and I missed not having that, if for nothing else, than the, the more open space feeling that you get inside. I think it's just awesome. And by the way, I mentioned in the beginning, I got this because I'm going to be traveling in it. Uh, I'm gonna sleep in it. I'm gonna get a an air mattress uh, that's made, and they're out there, they're made for trucks, uh, that I can put in the back over the seat, and then it will extend into the foot area with supports underneath. Uh, so we're gonna try that, it won't be for a while, it's nothing that's coming up soon, but it is something that I'm going to try out. We'll throw a tonneau of some sort on the back as well to be able to securely carry things and hopefully keep them out of the rain. Anyway, love the truck, it is awesome. Just wanted to get on, kinda bring you guys with me on my first real ride in this new Tundra. If you've got one, let me know what you think. How's it doing for you, particularly if you've had it for a while? Any issues or anything that I should be looking out for? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.